Hi guys, today I'm doing a follow up on Arch Labs and I will be showing you how to install Arch Labs Linux. So once you're on the system here, you gotta right click and then click run installer. So basically this isn't like your typical installer um, and it might seem a bit confusing at first but it's really not too bad. So here you're presented with the uh, language options so we're gonna go ahead and click uh, English okay so you just click OK so um, keep in mind before I continue this tutorial I'm just going to tell you real quick that I'm using a virtual machine so that's why things may be a little bit different for me uh, and so I gave this virtual machine about 20 gigabytes of memory uh, because last time I tried it with 8 and uh, it wasn't enough so make sure that you give this system um, more storage and also um, again because it's on a virtual machine I won't really be doing any partitioning or anything like that so uh, if you're running Windows or something like that what I recommend you do uh, is I recommend that you um, set up uh, the partitioning prior to the installation like beforehand um, because it's most likely going to be easier on Windows um, so just yeah like create um, a partition f for this for Arch Labs uh, give it enough memory and also if you want to make a swap partition even though if you don't do that as you'll see later on in the video uh, it's going to do it automatically for you so um, so yeah just giving you a heads up but here we have a couple of options so first up is the keyboard layout so we'll just go with the US English layout um, list devices you don't really need to do this uh, and so here's where the partitioning is um, so there's only one device uh, for me and so you have a bunch of options here uh, if you want to you can use gparted so if you don't want to do it prior to this like if you don't have windows or anything uh, and if you just want to set up the partitions and only run Linux then I recommend using gparted uh, and it's going to take you to the uh, program and then you can set it up from there um, but what I'm going to do is automatic partitioning so click yes okay uh, this uh, these are optional as well you don't really need to mess with them uh, and so next in order to continue we got to mount the partitions okay so well as you can see here it recommends uh, ext4 and uh, with every other uh, installation I normally use this so uh, go ahead and select it should be the first option so select the first option uh, and format it keep in mind it's going to uh, get rid of all your um, if you have anything saved so it's going to format it wipe everything completely okay so for SSDs the discard option provides active chimp support okay um, well I am using an SSD so um, so I'm probably going to go ahead with discard sorry I'm just reading this real quick um, or well you could choose none so what I recommend is um, well I am using a, an SSD but choosing uh, none will result in uh, an automatic mount so that's why I just go ahead and cancel and so it's going to do that automatically uh, and now uh, here you have the options uh, so if you're dual booting with Windows I recommend using Grub um, but if you're just if you plan on just using Arch Labs, then you could go ahead and use the second option. But uh, I'm just going to go with Grub because I like Grub, and I won't really be dual booting because this is um, on a uh, virtual machine. So, uh, but yeah, as I mentioned earlier, as you can see here, it's going to say ask for a swap file, uh, and you can give it uh, as much as you want. So it depends on your RAM. Uh, well, I gave it 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm just going to go with 8. 8 is usually the default, but 
Uh, you can use four as well. Again, it depends on how much RAM your computer has. So just go with eight gigabytes. And click yes, you can, the installation can begin now, so. All right, so once that loads up, you'll be greeted with this message. Um, so you could customize the sword uh, for the mirror list, but um, I do think that it's worth waiting a little bit longer uh, to get the fastest mirrors because uh, when your system's updating or installing a package or whatever, uh, you're definitely going to want for it to be as fast as possible. So uh, I recommend you just go with automatic sort. So, all right. So once that's done, um, you can select the system host name. So um, you can choose anything you want, uh, and it gives you here the restrictions, what you can, what you can't use. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default setting here. Um, okay, so now it's for the date, time, currency, and language. So the format. Um, so let's see here. So it gives you an example if you're in the United States or in Great Britain. Um, gives you the option here. Okay, I <laughs> scrolled a bit too much here. Um, <coughs> so let's see the option. Um, okay. All right, so I'll just set this. Um, all right, well, I'd rather not, so I'll just go with a random one. Um, Click yes. Okay, so here you can set up the username and whatnot. So, uh, and again, uh, as you see, it gives you the restrictions. So I'm just going to go with something simple that I'm going to remember. Also, just something simple for the sake of this. Um, um, what's it called? For the sake of this video, uh, so actually, I just read that empty uses the password entered above, <laughs> so I just entered the same one. Um, but yeah, so okay, well, I'll just leave it empty then. Setting root password. Oh, and by the way, I clicked enter to continue. Um, okay, so we're almost done here. Um, so essentially you can review uh, everything that you pretty much did uh, till now you can uh, change your host name or you know your layout or languages or you know you can set up grub and whatnot so um, this is up to you you know maybe if you made a mistake earlier in the installation again it's up to you um, but I think that everything went fine everything went smoothly in my opinion so we'll just go ahead and click done and we can exit and reboot the system. So uh, if everything went well, if we did everything correctly, um, let's remove this up here. Um, boot existing OS also, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I forgot to remove the image that was in here, the ISO image. Okay, so you enter the password. So yeah, but if everything worked as it should, then you should get into Arch Labs right here. Uh, and I mean, one way to know that it installed properly is, well, you get this. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Um, oh, you can actually also choose different uh, window managers and def desktop environments. That's actually pretty nice. I'll just click yes for the sake of taking a look at the options. So you get the awesome window manager, BSPWM, i3 gaps you know i tried i3 i actually like it don't know if i prefer it over open box but uh xfc4 i actually really like xfc uh, and just none you know just want to um you know check it out and it, you saw that it booted up very fast which is nice so we can install light dm the login manager i mean if you just want your system to just log in automatically if you don't want the login manager or if you don't want to deal with um for example different uh what's it called like options like window managers or desktop environments you just want to log into the main um 
you know, given window manager slash desktop environment, whatever it's using, you can click no. Um, but if you want to set that up, we'll just, you know, uh, we'll just do that. So you can set it for auto login, just enter your password, uh, and it's going to install it. So select from categories of applications. I honestly don't know what that's supposed to be. I'll just click no. Actually, I'll click yes to see what this is. Okay, so I guess you, you can select one of these categories to check uh, something to install, like for web browsers. I wonder what they have to offer. Oh, that's nice. Chromium's nice. I mean, it, it comes with Firefox by default, and also Opera uh, has a nice update. So the setup is complete. Or we'll just do Control C. There's no reason to reboot. Uh, so as you probably noticed, um, the resolution's small and it's kind of um, pixelated. You know, it's it's not the best resolution. This is because I'm on a pretty small uh, resolution right now. So I would actually want to fix that. By the way, I pressed the super key, which is uh, if you're using a Windows keyboard, uh, it's the Windows logo. Or, well, and it just generic keyboard that has the Windows logo. So, um, hmm, I'm not, I'm not seeing my computer's resolution or my monitor's resolution. Um, but yeah, if you want to change it, you could just do this easily. Oops, let's just go with 1080p. Uh, and let's click apply. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you, how you can see this. Um, it's probably buggy. <coughs> well, I mean, it's probably going to be fixed once I restart the system. But um, but yeah, that was pretty much the installation. If you did everything correctly, you should just boot in normally, uh, and um, get the greeting screen uh, that you saw. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The next video I'll be making is uh, customizing Arch Labs. Uh, and then, yeah, might make a last video about it or whatever. Um, and yeah, this has been kind of like a series, which is pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, so keep a heads up on the new video. I'll probably be releasing it very soon. So thanks for watching and have a good one.